Jesus said in Matthew 4 verse 4, that man shall not live from bread alone. It's confirmed Ecclesiastes 1 verse 8 is basically saying that I can never get satisfied by the seen, by what it's seen, because God created us like that. There will always be a hunger for bigger value than what the eye is able to see. Job was a prophet and he confirmed this in Job 28. Job 28, and I'm reading out of the Amplified Bible. Surely there is a mine for silver and a place for gold where they refine it. Iron is taken out of the earth and copper is smelted from the stone ore. Man sets an end to darkness and he searches out the farthest bounds for the ore buried in gloom and deep darkness. So what Job is saying to us, he's saying, don't be confused. If you look at that gold and if you look at that silver that's been mined, don't think that it just came into existence and that it was just there. He said, no, there was a big process involved. First of all, people had to go into that mine, get that treasure, and then there was a whole refining process. If you see people, lovely people, you can see the fruit of the Holy Spirit. They're bearing it. Now, just know that it's not that value that you see did not just come into existence by itself. It was a process, a refining process. Job said that man is putting an end to darkness. In other words, if I read that verse again, for the awe is buried in gloom and deep darkness. Don't let the enemy deceive you. The spirits of this world the spirits of darkness. There's more than what the eye can see. You cannot live from bread alone. The eye cannot ever be satisfied by what it can see, according to Ecclesiastes 1 verse 8. In other words, you can never, ever, ever, all the scientific knowledge in this world can never satisfy you. It can't. That's what scripture is saying. All that knowledge that you gain through that microscope or that telescope is never going to satisfy you because there's a deeper hunger inside man. A hunger for more. And that's why he's putting an end to darkness. He will go into that caves, that caves of gloom and darkness and go search for treasures because something is telling him, something inside of him is driving him. In his search for more, in his search for the truth, in, the, in his search for real value. Nobody can deceive you, can deceive that call of your heart. No scientific information, earthly information, can ever satisfy that. There's a hunger, there's a call in you for more. Men break open shafts away from where people sojourn in places forgotten by human food. And descent into them, hanging afar from men, they swing or flit to and fro. People go into that mines with primitive ropes. That's how they did it in history. And they will swing to and fro. And that rope often broke. And it cost people their lives. Still, once you've seen that diamond in your friend's hand, as big as a cricket ball. And maybe he's showing you another one. Remember, you will never be satisfied only by what you can see. You will know, I need to possess this. And that same drive will jump up into your spirit. And nothing will be able to stop you. 
That's why there's a passion in us, a passion for souls, a passion to get souls for God. Even if it cost us our lives like those miners in their search for earthly treasures, we are willing to go all the way because we can never, ever, ever be satisfied only by what the senses can offer us. There's more. There's more. There's so much more. That's why Job is saying they will go to the furthest boundaries possible. As for the earth, out of it comes bread. But underneath its surface, deep down in the mine, Job is telling us, yeah, on the surface, people can harvest their corn. They can harvest their wheat, their vegetables, whatever it is. But it's not a satisfying them. They are not happy with new cars, new houses, all the treasures, the riches that the surface of this earth can give them. No, there's something haunting them. They need to go deeper. They need to go deeper. And God is saying exactly like that. Remember, they go to places totally isolated and forgotten by men. And when they hang there down in those deep, dark mine shafts, they search for value. They search for real value, for real treasures. And God is saying, that's how you and we must be when we take this word, when we go into it. We must dig deeper, deeper and deeper. We must know, we mustn't be fooled by our senses and think that we have it all, that we know it all. For so many years I've been there, I've been deceived by the enemy. Now God wants us to go so much deeper deeper into him even if it cost you that isolation from human beings even if it cost you rejection because once you discover the real treasure you will know that you know that you know finally god that search that urge in me is now satisfied give you the glory and I give you the honor because I couldn't find it in anything else because I was made from you I was made to exist from more than just bread that this earth can give alone I needed the manna from heaven the real bread from heaven I needed Jesus and finally, now that I've discovered him, I'm satisfied. I'm totally, totally satisfied. I'm willing to risk my life to go spread this word so that others can, can join this treasure. But I will not be fooled anymore. Risking my life. For earthly treasures alone. No, I'm not stupid. I bless you. In his wonderful name.